You know, Matthew chapter 22, again, we're given so much insight into the life and ministry of Jesus. But, you know, as I walk through life, and maybe as you do, you experience this dynamic that things cost money. And some people, if they're not careful, can fall into the love of money. Well, Jesus speaks to that a little bit in Matthew chapter 22. Let me pick up the story in verse 15 from the New Living Translation. The Word of God tells us that the Pharisees met together to plot how to trap Jesus in saying something for which he could be arrested. They sent some of their disciples along with the supporters of Herod to meet with him and this is what they said, Teacher, we know how honest you are. You teach the way of God truthfully. You are impartial and don't play favorites. Now tell us what you think. They're buttering Jesus up and they say, now tell us what you think. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, he knew their evil motives. He said, you hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Here, show me a coin used for the tax. And when they handed him a Roman coin, he asked, whose picture and title are stamped on it? Caesar's, they replied. Well then, he said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. And his reply amazed them and they went their way. See, the Pharisees were seeking to trap Jesus in a political battle. Ever been in that situation before? Well, that's a whole nother topic, but that phrase that Jesus shares, to render unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar and unto God what belongs to God. See, here's the deal. God's not after your money. God's after your heart. And if we're not careful, the, the things that we have in life, the things that we own, if we're not careful, the things that we own can become the things that begin to own us because of the love of money. Let me encourage you this morning. Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Pay your taxes, yes, but also give your heart to God. Don't allow money to allow its web to begin to choke out your heart and for money to become your main purpose for getting up this morning and going to work. Allow today to be lived for God's glory and the good of others. Allow today your heart to be given to God because that's what Jesus says. Give unto God that which belongs to God, and God is after your heart.